Hey, what's up? Speak of Files, Wellington here, and welcome to another sound battle where we let speakers speak for themselves. In the battlefield, today we have the UE Hyper Boom going up against the JBL Boom Box. So many booms going on around here. I don't get it, but here we go. Um, as usual, I will be using a high quality binaural microphone. So for the best experience, please make sure you're using headphones. Anyways, these speakers are made to be going for the same customer, at least if you look at the specs and everything. Actually, if you look at the specs, the Hyperboom seems to be coming out on top in comparison to the boom box but in general they are about the same speakers as far as everything else um they all have about 24 hours of play time that they promise and also that although they are in different shapes volume wise they are about the same size speakers there are a few differences between the two speakers and mainly weatherproofing the hyperboom is only ipx4 rated which is really strange for ue but who knows um well as the boom box here is ipx7 rated which makes it completely waterproof well as the ue here is just splash proof um the other thing that is different between the two speakers is the driver sizes the ue here is running two 114 millimeter drivers like the main woofers and two 25 millimeter tweeters well as the boom box is running two 101 millimeter main woofers well, and, and two 20 millimeter tweeters. And maybe you might also want to know that the Hyperboom is rated to go as low as 45 hertz, while as the boom box is only rated to go as low as 50 hertz. But that's just what the numbers say. The two speakers also have different sound modes. The boom box has an indoor mode and outdoor mode with a button right there to switch between the two modes. Well, as the, the hyperboom here has, I wanna say four because there's a regular one where you don't have anything on and then you have a bass jump mode that you can switch to using the app. And then in the app, you can also see these other like cinema and podcast mode i guess those are also sound modes so there is that uh, but those are mainly the main differences between the two speakers for this sample we're going to be focusing mainly on the flat mode or normal mode regular mode whatever you want to call it and the bass jump mode we'll be comparing those two modes to the two modes the boom box is offering the indoor mode and the outdoor mode all right. Um, also, the sound samples might be a little bit longer than normal, but that's because I'm trying to switch all throughout those sound modes, comparing all of them together. So feel free to skip through. I'll be putting up a skip guide, whatever you want to call it. So you can use that to skip to whichever session that you want. Um, otherwise, here's a sound sample. Please make sure you're using headphones for the best sound experience. And we'll talk about them on the other side of the sound sample. Let's get into it.
There you have it. What do you think? Go to the comment section right now and let me know what you think before you hear my opinion, all right? And also as you do that, I would like to remind you, please go on the socials, Instagram, mainly Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook and follow me over there. Please go do that. Also, do not forget to go check out my merch store. I have so many cool designs over there. Please go check them out. And if you like them, feel free to support the channel. All right. Um, anyway, so when it comes to loudness between the two speakers, they are about the same. Although the Hyperboom has a slightly wider sound stage. The highs on both speakers are okay, but the win here goes to the Hyperboom, mainly because its highs are not as distorted um, as the ones that you find on the Hyperboom. They are there, they are. They sound almost more overpowering, but they're not like good crispy highs. They are lightweight and not very well defined highs on the boom box. So the win for that goes on the boom box, I mean the hyper boom right here. But also the mids at the same time will also go to the hyper boom. The boom box has good bass, has highs existing, not the greatest, but they are there. But the mids are kind of lacking. They get so over drowned by the bass and the screeching highs. So. Again, the Hyperboom takes that one too. But like it or not, the boombox is still coming out barely, barely on top when it comes to the low end. The best performance of the boombox, especially in indoor mode, is still better than that of the Hyperboom. Like I said, this is barely, but if you listen closely, you can hear that the boom box is going deeper, deeper than the hyper boom is going when it comes to best performance. Now, this does not mean that the best, that maybe the hyper boom does not have good best. It does. There's plenty of bass there, which really, really actually surprised me. If you consider the boom speakers that they, UE has been putting out, they usually hype their hype, hyper boom, hyper. <laughs> they usually hype their bass, but it's actually usually 
upper bass it's not like actual deep bass even in their mega boom speakers which is kind of strange so i was excited to actually hear some real good bass coming out of the hyperboom here it has good bass but if you only just consider bass and just focus on that the boom box goes deeper most especially in indoor mode no matter what you do with the hyperboom the boom box best performance was, is still better but with that said overall overall sound i do think that the hyperboom is a better performer it has everything easily balanced out and considering the fact that the app also comes with the eq like to i think it's a what a five band or whatever it's just small bands but that they give you that to actually fine-tune your sound and everything you can easily just fine-tune your sound a lot better than you would with the boom box if you're able to use the app and even if we forgot about sound for a second here ue is giving you just way too many features well as the boom box there is you know just sound and that's it not very many features and the only thing that you are missing on the ue here most especially is just that you know waterproofing which i am almost 100 percent sure they are keeping that for the next model do you think the same too let me know in the comment section down there i feel like they will be keeping that so they can bring it back in the next model and use that as the main selling point mm -hmm. I believe that almost 100% sure because there is no way they are able to waterproof all their other speakers but they can't do it with this one don't buy it I don't buy it now let's wait and see how the boom box to which is right around the corner if this virus thing doesn't screw it all up um, anyways that's it for this video please go follow me on Instagram mainly Instagram go follow me over there follow me on Twitter and Facebook I'll leave the links to all that stuff in the description section down there I also have a merch store like I mentioned go please you know look at my designs over there you know support the channel in that way I also have the links to these speakers here if you want to pick one up or just want to see how much they are right now also these things are way too expensive like why Anyways, they could be on sale, so go use those links down there just in case they're on sale, you know. Go check them out and please do the five. Do the five. Let's fight this thing together and I will see you guys in the next video. As long as you do the five. Do the five and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.